welcome to the podcast for when the curves line up for November 14, 2023. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 6.39 a.m. Central Standard Time followed by sunset at 4.31 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. Before sunrise, brilliant Venus is in the east-southeastern sky. It can be simply described as that bright star in the eastern sky before sunrise. The planet rises nearly four hours before daybreak and stands over 30 degrees above the horizon an hour before the sun rises. The planet is moving eastward through its orbit and appears against the stars of distant Virgo. Yesterday, it passed Xenia, also known as ETA Virginus. In three mornings, it passes 1.2 degrees to the lower right of Purima, also known as Gamma Virginis, that is 3.9 degrees to the planet's lower left this morning. Use a binocular to see the dimmer stars, especially in urban and suburban settings. Venus is moving toward a wide conjunction with Spica, meaning the ear of corn, on the 29th. Beginning November 22nd, the planet is within 10 degrees of Virgo's brightest star and closes at a rate of about 1.0 degrees each morning. At this hour, Jupiter is below the western horizon. At two hours before daybreak, Jupiter is about 10 degrees above the west-northwest horizon, nearly 150 degrees from Venus. The gap widens each morning. On December 10th, they are 180 degrees apart in the sky and after where Jupiter sets before Venus rises. In the evening sky, Mercury and Mars are not visible. Setting 37 minutes after the Sun, Mercury is heading toward its largest separation from the Sun on December 4th. For Northern Hemisphere sky watchers, this appearance suffers from a poorly inclined ecliptic with the western horizon. The planet is predicted to be bright, but it stands only about 5 degrees above the southwest horizon during evening twilight. Our Southern Hemisphere readers have a good view of the planet in the spring evening sky. Mars is moving toward its solar conjunction in three days. Then it begins a slow climb into the morning sky, appearing with Mercury in the eastern sky during late January 2024. The crescent moon, 3% illuminated, is nearly 5 degrees above the southwest horizon at sunset and less than 5 degrees to the left of Mercury. The lunar orb sets 40 minutes after the sun. Sky watchers with clear horizons and especially dry climates might catch a view of them through a binocular. This is a challenging view because of the bright twilight and their low altitudes, heights above the horizon. One hour after sundown this evening, Saturn is over 30 degrees above the south-southeast horizon. It moves eastward against Aquarius, 6.8 degrees to the upper left of Deneb Algdi, Capricornus tail. The planet's eastward motion can be noted each evening with a binocular to compare it to the dimmer starfield. It is generally heading towards Skate and Lambda Aquarii. Look for the star foam a lot, nearly 20 degrees to Saturn's lower left and almost 15 degrees above the horizon. At this hour, Jupiter, nearly 30 times brighter than Saturn, is nearly 20 degrees above the east horizon. It is retrograding in front of Aries, 11.4 degrees to the lower right of Hamel, the ram's brightest star, and 12.5 degrees to the upper left of Menkar, Cetus Nostril. Menkar is about 5 degrees above the horizon. Use a binocular to see it. As it retrogrades, the Jovian giant is west of an imaginary line from Hamel to Menkar. This illusion continues until December 30th. Then line of sight from Earth through Jupiter begins to shift eastward again. The planet appears to move eastward against the background stars, passing between the two stars again until February 29, 2024. Remember next year is a leap year. For sky watchers with telescopes, Jupiter's great red spot is at the planet's center in the southern hemisphere at 10.15 p.m. CST. During the night, Saturn is south two hours after sundown, setting in the west-southwest around midnight. Jupiter is south over six hours after sundown, setting about an hour before sunrise tomorrow morning. Thank you for listening. 
Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.